in, in some sense, science can never address a few questions. Uh, it can skirt around it, and Hawking felt he had answered the question, but most philosophers and scientists knew that he had not answered the question, is that there is a beginning of some sort in, in this universe. And what was before, or what is outside of this space-time thing that we have as a universe, what is the basis for why is there something instead of nothing? It, science cannot answer that. There, there, is, there has to be a basis for being, for existence itself. Uh, it, it, we exist, but what is the basis for that even to be? Uh, and then, as I was saying, if, if there is evil, well, if there is no God and there is no uh, theological basis for good and evil, then pedophilia, uh, murder, these things are just things that happen in the world. And we can really not say any in judgment about them as being evil or wrong. They're just things that happen. And I can't go there. And so if there is real evil, and I can make that assessment that this thing is evil that this person has done, then there must be a good. And there must be a, a call to be good. And there must be forgiveness because we aren't perfectly good. All these things are necessary. And it's uh, the first philosophers, the first Greek philosophers, pre-Socratics, pre they posed that the, the universe is a moral universe. It's just something that humans really know. We have a moral universe that we live in, and science cannot address that. If, if it's just mechanics and science, evil is just a thing that happens in the world. And that's the thing that can continually calls me back is there must be good. And I trust and hope. It, it, my faith is a hope that God is good and he has the solutions to the evil that I see in the world. Uh, our modern notion of science is scientism. It's not really science. And that after the Enlightenment, um, the science used to be the Latin word scientia, which comes from the Greek word episteme or epistemology, the second branch of philosophy. In other words, uh, the medievals used to say that um, theology, the study of God, is the queen of the scientia or the sciences, all the spokes of the academic disciplines in the university. It is the unity in the diversity that makes up the university and that's where the university came from. Uh, but science is the, uh, or theology is the queen of the scientia, and philosophy is its handmaiden, its glue that holds it all together, which is why behind every PhD is a doctorate of philosophy in X, Y, and Z. Everybody's got theoretical underpinnings to their science as if they're being uh, objective in a white lab coat and giving you nothing but the facts without a bunch of assumptions. And so, again, you can offer something to a scientist from another scientist on a viewpoint for them to consider, or you can question whether science is the be-all, end-all.